Praise the Lord, sisters and brothers. Receive greetings from Deliverance Church International, Moja. My name is Margaret Mainairogo, and once again, grateful to God for giving me an opportunity to minister to us. Today is our third day on the devotions based on the rich wells of Abraham, the wells that he left us. We have seen obedience goes hard in hard with faith, and without faith, we cannot please God. And so we need to endeavor to live by faith day by day. Let us pray. We thank you, Lord, for yet another opportunity to learn more from your servant, Abraham. We thank you for the rich legacy he left us. And this morning, we pray that you help us to know some of the things that he did that kept him moving on, that kept him loving you, that kept on having faith in you. So Lord, I pray that you open our hearts of understanding by your Holy Spirit that we will hear from you. Receive honor this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. So Genesis again, 18, 26, 18. Isaac dug again the wells of water, which they had dug in the days of Abraham his father. For the Philistines had stopped them after the death of Abraham. And he called them the names his, the father had given them. Redigging is hard work. One of the wells we can redig is the well of diligence. Abraham, I believe, would not have achieved or owned the wealth he had while it not for his diligence. Abraham worked hard, while at the same time kept the faith and his reliance in God. The opposite of diligence is laziness or unwilling to work. Whose example would we like to follow? I want to believe every one of us would want to live a rich legacy like Abraham, and therefore we don't want to be lazy. We want to be diligent. The digging of wells is not an easy task. It involves getting all the soils within the well out to get where the water is. Now, this reminds me, when we were growing up, water was a very rare commodity. We had to walk for about two kilometers to get water for household use. It wasn't easy, considering there were other household chores we were doing. So, for mom, it wasn't easy when we reopened schools. And one holiday, we plotted a plan with my sister. We decided to dig a well so that mom would get water near home. We had already heard from dad where he thought if ever he was to dig a well, where water would be found. However, he was like taking forever to dig that well that we so much needed. So we thought we could start the process and perchance maybe get the water. So we, one day when he was away and we knew he was not coming soon, we decided to embark on our program. We were excited to do it, but soon realized that it was not as simple as we thought. The more we got, when we got about four feet deep, we started getting tired. We ought to have had a better plan. So digging a well is not simple, or, not, or digging, in, doing any kind of work is not simple. First, you must figure out how wide the well will be, while at the same time ensuring the well does not cave in, rendering it unusable. We therefore must be diligent. A diligent person is one who is steady or one who is stable, one who is serious with what they are doing, 
one who is energetic, he is devoted or she is devoted and systematically works to accomplish the mission or assignment that is at hand. That is a diligent person. Jesus told his disciples in Luke uh, chapter 14, verse 27, whoever does not carry their cross and follow me cannot be my disciple. Now, the destiny of being Jesus' disciple was for them to carry their own crosses. That is hard work. Getting to our destiny is hard work. It's not a walk in the park. When we are diligent, we find joy and satisfaction in doing God's work. You can be motivated, you can be motivated to do something daily towards God's work. What is it that you'd wish to do? It may be it's prayer for the servants of God or witnessing in your neighborhood or where you are working. Whatever it is, do it. Do something. Now, when we think about diligence, a perfect example we get um, is from Proverbs 31, woman. The Bible says in verse 17, she is energetic and strong, a hard worker. New Living Translation puts it that way, that she is energetic and strong, a hard worker. That's a diligent person. Reading through this chapter of Proverbs, she works it out all by her own will, her own volition. No one forces her. She wakes up early in the morning. She feeds her family. She buys purple. She helps the poor. I encourage you to read that chapter of Proverbs 31 and see how diligent this woman was. She does much, much more than I have said. And I read about this woman with a lot of admiration. We need to act without having to be told what to do all the time. It is our responsibility to be self-motivated like that woman of Proverbs 31. But you know what? Sometimes we wait to be given direction. But with the things of God, we need to be self-motivated. We need to know there's no one telling you, wake up and pray. There's no one telling you, you read the word of God. There's no one telling you, you can help this person. You've got, it's got to be you. You've got to be diligent. Like, no one pushed you to get born again. In the same breath, be ready without coercion to serve God. Because when you received Jesus as Lord and Savior, he endowed you with a lot of energy to do work. Even when things get tough, don't give up. Keep going. Keep the focus. The one who called you is faithful. So we need to be diligent. As we redig the wealth of diligence, there is a reward of hard work. Proverbs 21 verse 5 says that good planning and hard work leads to prosperity. But hasty shortcuts lead to poverty. I want to believe, as you listen to my voice, that you would wish to be prosperous. You do not wish to live in poverty. But the secret, the Bible tells us, is good planning. And not just good planning, but put some hard work in it. Since Abraham lived by faith, and it was credited to him as righteousness. Remember, we are 
the sense of promise and we can also be diligent in what we are doing. Let me close by quoting Paul writing to 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. Therefore, my brethren, or my beloved, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. There is no one who is diligent and he lives in poverty. Proverbs has just told us, there is no one who wakes up early in the morning and goes to work and comes back empty, unless he had not planned, because we have been told that you need to plan and to work hard. So today, as we continue, what is it that you are set to do? Plan it well, be diligent in it, and I can assure you, by the end of the day, you will see, just like Paul told the Corinthians, that your hard day's work was not in vain. Let us redig the wells of diligence, and we will become as prosperous, as blessed as Abraham was. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you, and we honor you this morning. Thank you for speaking to us so clearly that we have examples upon examples in the Bible to pick from on why we should not be lazy, on why we should work hard, because there is reward for hard work. Father, I pray that when we feel like we just want to take it easy, that you propel us to, to be uh, hard workers, you propel us to be diligent. You propel us to have a goal and a plan and to accomplish the very things that will cause us to get a reward for hard work because our labor in you is never in vain. Thank you, Lord. I, I pray that you bless my listeners and that today they will find joy in doing the work that they are doing and that by the end of it all, they will be rewarded for it because you are a rewarder of those who diligently seek you. So, Father, as they work, may you reward that diligence. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.